I was looking down Fifth Avenue when I saw it happen. I saw when that first plane hit the Twin Towers and all the smoke coming out. It was really horrific. And I remember all the people screaming on the streets as I was in that yellow cab going across town on my way to work. And like many other New Yorkers at that time, I went through my own dark night of the soul around this experience because that also created a cascade of events that negatively impacted my life at that point. And I did end up needing to do that deep inner work and really transforming things and really standing in the fire of my own transformation at that time, just like many other New Yorkers did and other people who were impacted directly by that 9-11 event. But the reason I don't talk about it is not because I'm trying to avoid speaking about it, which is what a lot of people in the spiritual community do, is spiritually bypass the impact of what's going on in the world. I focus on the primary timeline and every single time you drudge up all the pain and suffering, yes, on one hand, you are honoring those who have suffered. And on the other hand, if you're unable to get beyond that experience, then that directly impacts what you're creating, what you're visioning, what you're leading your energy with. On a day like today, it's important to, yes, honor those who've suffered, who have crossed over during traumatic times on our global collective experience. And this is also a time to be very mindful about the timeline you are energizing. Ask yourself these questions. Are you adding, energizing the primary timeline that you want to be creating? Or are you keeping alive a dead timeline that no longer serves you, that isn't helping you create at the highest level? In case you're wondering what a primary timeline is referring to, it is that primary timeline that is aligned with your highest truth and the highest level of your creation. Tertiary timelines, on the other hand, are absolutely created based on your fears. That's right, you have the power to literally create your own reality based on whatever timeline that you are focusing on and energizing. That is why humanity is such a powerful species and we're actually a really desirable species in the whole realm of the universe. And that is because we hold such a mixture of genetic galactic coding, but so much of our collective has forgotten how powerful we are. And that is why it's up to us as New Earth leaders to really access that within ourselves, really access that powerful higher light codes and galactic coding within us that is aligned with our divine nature connected to God in order for us to really fulfill our destinies on this planet. My message today is really not about what this day is about. It's really about what are we going to create as a collective? How are we going to use what we've experienced collectively in order to create at a higher level? And so this is a lot more to do with being a visionary, holding that vision, being consistent in that vision, and not so much just feeling high vibe and just being love and light and just hoping things fall into place. Leadership is about taking action because only one aspect of it is holding that energy and the other half is taking action based on it. We are entering a new reality that is created from our thoughts and our beliefs. That's why I'm always talking about really trusting your path, believing in your power, because anything that you are believing and perceiving is actually creating not only your reality, but our collective reality. I'm curious, what beliefs and perceptions are you shifting today to create a different reality this week? Let me know in the comments.